Hi there! In this video, you're gonna learn how to dramatically improve your patient's profile even without any surgery at all. You'll be surprised of how much we can change a patient's face without seeing a single drop of blood. Now, every came to the office asking for a better smile. But when you see a patient like that, you would probably think she would have a better outcome if she undergoes a bimaxillary surgery. Come on, after all, that smile isn't bad at all. And uh, as soon as we take a look at her occlusal situation, there's just no doubt left. The better thing to do for her is orthodontics associated with surgery. I mean, the upper and lower crowding are not a problem. The problem is the skeletal third class and the anterior open bite, right? But as she hears the word surgery, she just said, no way. Now, we can try on compensating this malocclusion, but the result will be less stable on the long run, that's for sure. Also, we'll align those teeth and get a better smile, but how much soft tissue change can we get? Mm, well, you just saw it. Let's see how we did it. First of all, we need to bond our brackets on the upper incisors very occlusally to favor their proclination. See how far from the gum those brackets are? We will need that proclination to solve the third class. Now that we have somehow compensated the third class, we need to extrude those teeth to fix the open bite. In fact, bonding brackets more occlusally might favor proclination, but for sure it does not favor extrusion. What we use here is a reverse curve arch wire, a 17 by 25 night tie. With that, we'll take care of the open bite. All right, as soon as the open bite has been solved, thanks to the reverse cure arch wire, we need to find a way to solve the horrible leveling of those upper teeth. To do that, we need to reposition the upper centrals and the upper cuspids brackets. This way, we'll get a deflection in the wire that will intrude upper lateral incisors and extrude upper central incisors and canines. Now, as soon as the wire transmits its forces to those teeth, they level in a far better way. There's still a problem though. Lower scuspids and bicuspids don't have proper occlusal contacts with the upper teeth, so we need to find a way to extrude them. We could surely make a selective rebonding of those teeth, but this solution is way quicker. Just make the wire pass beneath those brackets and they'll extrude as much as needed. And these are the final photographs. We've got a little bit second class on the right and a slight third class on the left of the patient. This of course will shift the upper midline to the left and the lower midline to the right. But as the song used to say, you can't always get what you want. But sometimes you get what you need, which is the patient's satisfaction. Now, as we need to stabilize the result as much as possible, we opt for fixed and removable retainers for both the upper and lower arch. And this is what happened after 20 months of treatment and 14 appointments. I honestly think we were a bit lucky here. But whatever, most of the times we are not lucky at all. Now, whenever he smiles, it doesn't look anymore like she's chewing her tongue. But the most surprising result was the change in the profile. A totally different silhouette for her. I love it! And if you love it too, we are setting up online courses for orthodontists. Check them out at purpleortho.com.